Good morning guys, my name is Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. This video is going to be the most funny video we have because, well, I've tried to make this intro three times now and hopefully this one sticks. Happy Thanksgiving and let's dive on into what we're going to do today. So that happens to be, I have one request from all of you watching and we'll get to it right after we, we read the daily devotional book because we haven't been adding this into the vlogs here lately. So I want, what a perfect day than Thanksgiving to bring it back into a vlog, make it nice, short and sweet and get to the point. So today's busted. It's easier to build strong children than to repair broken men. Frederick Douglass. We dads need to notice when our kids mess up. Sometimes we even need to take extensive correction active action. But let's not forget that kids are going to make mistakes. So let's deal with them and not dwell on them. It's worth remembering that kids often learn from their mistakes and make changes you may not even know about. Don't assume that just because ABC once led to XYZ, every time ABC happens, XYZ will follow. Your best course of action is probably to tell the deep recesses of your brain to be on constant alert for any signs of ABC or XYZ in your kids as well as their friends. But, and, this is the hard part. Keep those thoughts and concerns away from the front of your brain. Let hope and the spirit of optimism guide you. Don't be a sucker or stick your head in the sand, but in your day-to-day -day life, assume that XYZ will never happen again. If you're thoroughly, thoroughly confused, let me weave a fiction tale, a fictional tale. Your wonderful 17-year-old son Jethro makes a pretty good buck fixing bikes at the bike store it's not a secret that he has six hundred dollars in the book under his nightstand on the same night he sleeps over at horatio's house <laughs> you discover the book now has about half that amount jethro never was a good liar Plus, your spies informed you that kids have been buying fake IDs. Plus, you could tell he had been drinking because you're a good parent and you know your kid. Jethro is busted. Punishment is paid. Horatio is out of the picture. Jethro admits his mistake and is genu genuinely sorry. <clears throat> well done. That's how families work. You didn't overreact. A lesson was learned. Trust is reestablished. Now here's the point. When more money is missing or Horatio's name comes up or Jeff Jethro sleeps late on a Saturday, don't assume the worst. Maybe there's a reasonable explanation. Maybe this is really a God-given chance to demonstrate to your sincerely repentant son that your relationship is returning to its former strength. Don't accuse, don't interrogate, don't panic. But do check with your spies. <laughs> what about you? One of the reasons God gave families two parents is so that two of you can strategize, circle the wagons, react without losing your cool, and have long talks with your teenager, agree on and enforce punishments, and come out healthier on the other side. <laughs> so... Uh, that's that's actually pretty good. I like that. That's why I like this book. And if you guys are interested, you can get the same book. Yes, it is day by day devotions for dads. However, it can apply to just about anyone, as we have discovered. About uh, we're we're about a third of the way through the book, so we're getting there. It's awesome. Uh, the link is down in my description below. You guys can use that. Anyways, the one request that I have for you guys is I want to know what you're thankful for. And this thing is going to get yeeted out the window. There we go. Alright, no more interruptions. <laughs> so, I want to know what you're thankful for. 
And I want you to tell me down in the comments below just one thing. You don't have to give me a reason. You can if you want. You can explain it. You don't have to. Just, I want to see what everybody, everybody's thankful for. And, well, you guys want to know what I'm thankful for too, I'm sure. And I've already talked about this a little bit. And that one thing that I'm thankful for is, you guessed it, I'm thankful for God. Because God sent his one and only son here to earth to show us how to live and to pay the ultimate price to, so that we can have a way to relate, to have a relationship with God through Jesus. And Jesus is the one and only way, the truth, the past, the presence, the future. He, he is it. And it's amazing. And that is why I'm thankful for God. So, I hope that you all have a wonderful day today, even if you're not celebrating Thanksgiving, because I know that some of you aren't, and that's totally okay, because you know what? Hey, if, if we were a bunch of people that left a country, and uh, you're that country that we left, I wouldn't quite want to celebrate it either. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Anyways, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you, thank you so much for sticking around. And this vlog did end up being a little longer than I thought, but... I'm a slow reader, so thanks for sticking sticking around, and we will catch you tomorrow in another vlog. Have a great night, and God bless. Don't ever give up. God is here with you. Yeah. You are a child. Nothing but love is true. This God is thinks of you. Keep your eyes on the prize. That's life everlasting. Only through Jesus Christ. He came to die. Good morning guys. Welcome back to the Dark Devet YouTube channel. My name is Trevor. Today is Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving to all of you. And for those that don't celebrate Thanksgiving because well we kinda left British. Right? <laughs> I gotta restart this. Blah, 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 blah.